da, da, da. Okay, BBPN Season 4 playoffs here, Final 16, Match 7 coming up. Yeah, this is another one of those crazy ones there. We'll, uh, we'll admit a coach's decision at one point in the game will really make you scratch your head. All right, let's get out there and find out how bad this one goes. All right, so Colt Spillard is about to have another fun day, is he? Yeah, well, he's been a fair but fair bastard all these playoffs there. Hello, it is one of the inborn same matchups you saw. Yeah, here it is. Yes, the pink fluffy unicorns versus, <laughs> yes, they're orcs. Don't tell them that. And, of course, they're versus the dark elves. Now, this is a good inducement right there. He has induced... No less than, you know, Hubris himself there. He is the Dark Elf Blitzer with a strength increase, strip ball, jump up, mighty blow, and just because he's a Dark Elf dark, dirty player. And as you see, he's also going to induce himself a free bribe for this game here. Meanwhile, over there, four rerolls, and of course, they're all, all cheering for the bloody ponies. Of course they are. They all know how this stadium works there. Yeah, he is a monster. He's a great monster. You wouldn't believe how monstrous he could be here. All right, here we are. The kick has started there. Let's go and actually try and find the ball, shall we? And quick snop. They're on the move already. Well done. And I got my eye on you. Yes, they do. And here they come. The fluffy unicorns already moving up that free square. Now, he's already in the right position to go catch this ball here. As you can see here, the Unicorns have got all kinds of crazy skills here, there, and everywhere. And they have come in with good lord if they got reserves. <laughs> Lots of reserves, and what the fuck is all these goblins? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of them. Alright, first push of the day, first push of the day. Oh well, that's nothing exciting there. Ah, uh, there's a good solid push, knocks them over, but nothing else going on. As you can see, Dark Elves have come in with not one, two reserves. There's a big hit. Uh, indeed, he has got himself at least a KO, so that puts the Dark Elves down one player. And now he's on his way here, lumbering with the Calico to try and figure out if he can get all these damn touchdown things. There's the troll there, three dice. Gets a big punch in. Just knocks him over there, that's fine. And here goes the expendable Line Orc. Yep, there's a logic to this. Well, notice he's got a bribe there. He's got one job. One. Draw the bribe. <laughs> well, that means he's going to get kicked a lot. Now, we'll see how well this actually works. Push me, push you. Nope, nothing going on there. See? There's the plan. Didn't say it was a good plan. Well, who knows about this coach some days. Alright, Dark Elves on the move there. As said, they already took out one KO there. That was a block lineman. But they figure they weathered the storm pretty good there. Big salty kick into the blitzer there. Sends Flutter Die flying. And yeah, now the White Orc is about to regret his life decisions. Look how far into the rear. That's what she said. He's stuck at the moment here. That moves it. Now is he going to foul the dirty player? No, nope, of course not. Because he sees the troll. Comes charging in. Only gets the push. Now remember, he is strength four. So that's why he gets away with that one there. Moves over here. Well, let's go pick up Black Orc. Because why not? That's what Black Orcs are for, apparently. There, sends him flying. Big kick to the side of the head there. And meanwhile, here they come, running over. He's got a nice screen here. Makes the cheeky dodge away, and here we go! Hello, what have we here? Yeah, and Constable Eddie immediately catches that one there, but immediately, well, he catches on on that one there, but he has collected his money, hasn't he? So he said, well, apparently that's what the troll saw, and well, he's not doing anything right now. Yes, he's on his phone, unfortunately. 
All right, Orcs on the way here. At least the plan did work. The bribe is gone. Now the Dark Elves aren't as likely going to be trying to foul. Because now they can get easily ejected. And they don't want his star play ejected. He's worth over 300k. He's an expensive little piece, isn't he? And he's a great piece, too. That's what my sister said after him last night. Meanwhile, here we go, Orcs. It's almost like they're trying to tempt them in. But it's not working so far. And I do note here the Dark Elves do have a leap player. So they can pull some of your weird cast dickery if they really try. There we go. Big hit into the lineman. Down he goes. One more time. Oh, you're not fouling him this time. Yeah, more's the pity. And now we're going to go pick it up Blackhawk again. Big hit. Sorry the head. Down he goes. And he goes running back. Like I said, the Dark Elves. Yes, Calder Girls are great. Now this one is a rookie. The main one got killed not two games ago. So this is a bit of a problem. He's had to get a new calendar girl. But the other one, she can do her job. She's a fine bouncing body Sheila. And right now, so far, Dark Elves dodging AG4. Doing its business very well indeed. Alright, Orcs. They'd like to scrum up, but they keep running away. So the Orcs are going to try and plow the road in. And see if they can actually, you know, make something happen. Big two dice, big push, big bugger all. And uh, nothing's going on there. Yes. Blowfessional. I'm going to remember that one. A fully trained Blowfessional. You know, that's getting quoted here, Steiner. That's going to get quoted for a long time. Oh, well, take a look at this here. You can see the Orcs are getting a little, you know, frustrated at what's going on. Yes, they're really trying to stack the line. Reminds you of a certain dwarf team you saw just last round here. And turn three for the Dark Elves here. Here's the counter-attack into the line orc. And down he goes. Well, there's KO. They've evened the numbers up. Well done indeed. Now, here's another big salted block here. They're trying to get rid of this one here. And they do a fine job surfing up, knocking him down. That works pretty well. Takes two dice here, pushes him out of the way. Oh dear, lining up for surf bait, are oh, you? Yeah. That actually might work. Hang on over here. Up oh, there's a skull on Fortry on the one die block. Has to re-roll that one there. Does get the knockdown. Now here's the question here. Is he going to stop prowling the back end? No, nope, he's not doing it there. Instead he goes over the top, takes out this one there. No! No! God, please, no! 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 Well, lucky the apothecary actually works there. <laughs> the dead black orc is immediately apothecary, but that is two removals on the wood to for the dark elves. Yep, there went Derpy. <laughs> Derpy's dead, but don't worry, it's Derpy. Didn't notice she's dead. She gets back up. <laughs> too dumb to notice. Of course she is. Are you crazy? Yeah, indeed, indeed. All right, well, now the Orcs have got some work to do here. They're now down two players on this drive, and they still can't get anybody. Yeah, on the move here. Yeah, the Orcs, you can tell. At this point here, are getting very frustrated here. They're not getting anywhere. Meanwhile, Troll, big hit into the star player, sends him flying, and he's still alive. Boring. Yes, I know. Well, they're working on it. As you can see, now the Orcs are trying to tempt fate. They really, really, really want to get the Dark Elves trying to do something. Well, unfortunately, the Dark Elves are doing something. They've done a great something. They've actually managed to kill a player. Fortunately, it was Derpy. She got better. Why? Like I said, too dumb to notice. Push me, push you. Yeah, moving in here. Makes the dodge here so far. Like we said, dodging for the Dark Elves, not a problem. They've made every dodge so far. Another big hit knocks the Black Orc flying here. Are they going to go after the ball yet? They've got a play in position. They can risk the one die. Or if they want, they can get a little aggressive dive in. Dodges away again here. Moving in. Yep, Dark Elves keeping the screen going here. Makes another dodge. Well done here. And here we go, one die into the troll. Yeah, that, that could go right. And there we go. Oh, look, it's block or block. Impressive. Work, work. Yeah, well, we'll see how this goes here. 
All right, turn five for the Orcs. They seem to be stuck here. <laughs> no, serious, they do seem quite stuck here. Yeah, so you can see the ball carrier is starting to get involved in this one here. Rerolls that one. Really wants the star player dead. Oh, well, tucks a couple more players in. Troll takes a swing here. Gets a big hit. Does he get anything there? That's what he wanted. <laughs> Uh, it's only a stun, unfortunately, there. Now, over the top goes into the big star. It's just a push. Oh, well, he's going to move him into the other black. God, you can tell the orcs are getting really frustrated at this point here. Yeah, this is vulnerable. Yeah, now he's tempting fate. He really wants him to try. Man, there's another big punch in Algorith. How's he feeling? All you have to do is talk. That's what he finally wanted. He finally takes him out. There's a KO. And yeah, a bit of celebration by the ponies. Well, he's even it out there. And there is the star into the KO box. And now the Dark Elves there. Even Steven here. Nine on nine. Are oh, they going to go for it? No, nope, they're going after this one here. Two dice. Gets the hit. Knocks him over. Now, do you remember? The Apothecary is burned here. For the, the unicorns, so yeah, anything that gets through the armor, it's pocket time. Two dice at the black orc. There's another big shining it. Oh dear. Yay! I mean, yay! I mean, boo! I mean, boo! Yeah, it might be time for more beer. There's another KO. Yep, he just took out another black orc. I've heard rumors the orcs have AV9. Clearly, that is a lie this game. And meanwhile, Dark Elves continue to have flawless diving. Right till that moment. Surprise, motherfucker. Yep, finally he rolls a one on turn five. It's his first one rolled when coming down to dodging. All right, well, it's still not over here. Unicorns, they still have to try and force and try and score this thing. Turn six. Big punch sends the lad flying. Now, merely the Dark Elves do have a couple tackle zones on this lad here. So he's not going to risk it here. Comes running over here with a tackle. Does get the pound out. Sends the person flying. And that's how Equestria was made. So he says, all right, well, he pushed him down. Gets the stun moves over here. Meanwhile, as you can see, Troll block on block. Even though it's a wooden nine, the Troll doesn't mind. This is a rare Troll. He's got block. That's why he's kept them all this time. Well, this is interesting. Orcs are actually changing direction here. Yep, he's actually going to try going the other way. <laughs> the six turns of futility seem to approve something. Oh, good lord. Oh, are we looking at the surf? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Tackle folly kicks in. He rolls a wood. Now the woods are showing up. But I think someone's getting surfed. Out he goes. Goodbye, sunshine. And there goes another Black Orc. Yep, population. And found the gerbil. Oh, dear. No! No! The horror! The horror! Yep, you heard that right. She trips on the gerbil and down she goes. Oh, stop laughing. It's not so funny. Pothkerry does work, but ouch, there goes the Pothkerry for the Dark Elves. On he basically on play, he didn't really need to do, but he did it anyway. Alright, and here they go. Are you loco in the cocoa? Apparently, and there they come. Unicorns. Yep, double skulls. Well, he's been doing one for a while there. Big punch though. Box him down here. And here come the rest of the Unicorns here, moving around here. They are going to try and score it. Problem is, they do need to knock some players down. Oh, well, there we go. Sort of punch. That will do the job. Holy moly! And there's a big KO right there. Finally, Dark Elves starting to run out of players here. This is getting intense, isn't it? Over the top here, he's got everything all screened up. Meanwhile, up here, two dice. Gets there, gets the knockdown. And the last one, just in case something gets past them. And here we go. Turn 7. Dark Elves, with those KOs and surgical little knockdowns there, they can't catch the ball carrier. 
but they can certainly threaten. They can make sure he does go in. That's what he said. Here we go, Peeling Blitz here. He'd like to get through this armor, which seems to be tinfoil today. I swear the lad's drunk. Makes the dodge away there. Well, now he's back to his dodgy ways. There we go. That's a proper elf team. Dodge away, and he makes all of them. Yay! Yes, indeed. He has made all of them. That's what he wants to see. And once again, on Face Gnome. Yes, there we go. <laughs> yeah, well... Doesn't happen all the time there. There we go. Using the guard. Push me, push you here. Yep. The Unicorns, they figure they've got two rerolls left on that drive. They might as well try and hit something. Because what could possibly go wrong? Famous last words in this cast, isn't it there? All right, here he goes. Full tackle. Gets the hit. There we go. Owl indeed. Yeah, it will tell us forever. Unfortunately, it's all just a stun there. Now it's time to go and score this one in. And indeed, there it is. It's 1 to 0. I don't know where he gets them from. All right, here we go. Unicorns on the defense now here. It is turn eight. Dark Elves, they are indeed looking for the right. They would like to see how this one goes. Dark Elves, as you can see here, Chaos. Star player is still out for this drive, so he ain't playing there. And the Apothecary has been used, but that means the Dark Elves have called in their two reserves. So they're fine. Meanwhile, as for the Unicorns, that Blackhawk, boy, he got his shiny noggin really, truly wrong. And what are they do Oh, God, they've set the... Yep, they've sent out the spikes. Yep, all the spikes, they're all there. Yep, he set the goblins out. Of course he did. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with this idea? There's the kick. Oh, someone can go get the ball. Why not? How the hey, Easy catch, no problem, out of the rafters as he goes, and yeah, well, let's see if these goblins actually survive here. Frenzy by the Kelder Girl, and she completely fails. Alright, how about the next one? Yeah, the Dark Elves have got me looking at, these are free kills. Really? Free kills, so far, how's that working for you? Not as well as he hoped. And there's another push. Well, don't worry. He's got a blitz. How could this possibly go wrong? Look, I'm not jinxing it. How could this possibly go wrong? You tell me how these could go wrong. There we go. Charges it. He even got tackled just to make sure. Gets the block. Gets the kick. Guess what? Oh, yeah. Yep, he's all right. He's absolutely all right. Oh, well. So much for that plan. The goblins survive. Again. I'm not sure if he's the sewers. There we go, there's the pass, easy peasy, halfling squeezy, and we're in the halftime. Your halftime score, it's 1-0 for the Unicorns. This halftime, of course, is brought to you by Triple Distill Paddy Irish Whiskey. Because how else would I get through this bloody league? Paddy Irish Distilled Whiskey. Well, let's see, the star player has made it, he is back in the game here. And the Dark Elves are on the receiving end this time here. One to nil. I do imagine here the Unicorns are going to change things up here. Yep. Goblins, most of them. Guess who still? Yeah. Shining Noggin. Boy, did he ever get his Noggin wrong. He's going to stay out for a while on this one, isn't he? Oh, dear. Give her time. Uh, I don't want to give it time. Get back on the field. Yeah, that happens. And you can see here. Yep, they're keeping one of the goblins on. Spite you idiot. He's gone on the field. Why? He's got sneaky get. Might work. Might not work. We will see. Dark Elves, as you can see here, do have a full roster. They have reserves. They are ready to go. And right now they're getting planned here. 
Dark Elves have got to be wondering here, do you score early or do you just go for the tie? Remember, we can't have overtimes. There's the big kick, and yes, anyone can go and get the ball. Oh, yeah. And there we go. It's under the ball. Now, I have to pause just to ask you something. It, 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 it's an interesting question here. It's really going to make you ponder. What's he still doing over here? Can't see it? Guess who? No, I'm serious. Guess who? Yeah, I'll zoom in. There you go. The star player is still on the sideline. Oh, dear. <laughs> Honestly, I think the coach completely forgot he'd recovered from the KO. So now he's got a problem. Big punch into the goblin. Takes him down. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's still alive. <laughs> oh, well, it's a work. It's a work in progress, as they say. Now the Black Hawks are about to take what they don't enjoy, a fisting. There's only three of them left. Remember, as I said, Cheyenne Doggins Noggin's been nogged. Say that again. Yeah, you don't think that's going to bite them on the ass? We will see. Now he has to score quick. That does change his thinking. He has to score it quick. He needs to get his player back. They get right there. Holy dooly! And he has actually knocked him flying there. It is a solid stun. Like I said, tin foil for armor on the orcs today. All right, Dark Elves. Moving along here. He's got a light screen up. Big kick, big punch. Does have the ball here. Count the girls on the move. That looks like, is she? Nope, she's going to hang on to it for a while here. That looks like everything's fine. Now, notice here, one of the crazy skills that is sitting here. Yes, you see that right. It's an orc with leap and an AG increase. This is very vulnerable at the moment. He can just go in here, leap, and at least get... If he, if he marks everything up, he can leap in and get one die. Maybe. We will see. And I think that's what he's looking at. The Dark Elf coach is looking at this little bastard right here, getting jacked. And he's worried about that one there. All right, so here they come. You wanted a partake? Now let's partake! Yeah, God. Like, this team drives me crazy. Yeah, well, it's not going in just yet. He's going to wait. Wait until there's a better opportunity there. Plus, he actually wants to recover a couple of players here. Well, here's a bit of a risk. The thrower goes running in. Gets the block. Gets the hit. Well, nothing there. It's just a knockdown. But he has made this particular player a V8. He's made him pretty vulnerable over here. All right, Dark Elves on the move here. Yeah, now he's starting to peel the corner. Like I said, he's starting to realize what he's gone and made a blunder about. He's realized he needs to score this one quick here. Yeah, jumps is on the opportunity there. Goes after the thrower. Big hit, big knockdown. Now remember... Both parties are out there apothecary, so these are a bit more risks with these players here, and... Boy. Love. End zone's this way. Yep, here they go. Dark Elves, they're running backwards. He's trying to buy some time. Uh, buying time when your best player is not on the field. This might not be a great idea yet. Like I said, you need to score it now, of all things. Alright, Dark Elves. Turns around, gets into a better position here. He's going to stack up the three dice. He really does not like this player. And like I said, so far, that Teflon armor has been dynamite against the Orcs, unfortunately. Speaking of, there goes another one. I will hunt you down wherever you're hiding, and I will eliminate you. I am, I am justice. I still think you're a loony, but anyway. <laughs> All right, well, you can see here the Orcs. They've got an idea. They're going to try and prevent these early scores here. Step one, beat him up. Doesn't work, but they do knock him down there. Meanwhile, where are the rest of the orcs going? Yeah, you can see here, they're going to make an ugly scrum out of this one. Now, this is where really the orcs can put a good fight in. Oh, there we go. One in nines it. Rerolls it. Well, he figures he's got four rerolls. He can get away with it. Push me, push you here. Just keep my tackle in the back. Oh, God, here he goes. Yeah, here we come. Not big, good, big, bad. Oh. Yeah, indeed it is. And, yeah, <laughs> Spike is starting to do what he does best. Dirty pool. <laughs> yeah, indeed. All right, Calder Girl moves up only a square, and then she stays there. 
Oh dear. Thanks for standing still, wanker. Could be. All right. Dark Elves. Well, so much for scoring this sign here, but he is doing his job. He's got three players tied up, so Dark Elves are going to try and commit an effort going this way. On turn 11. Clock is ticking here. Do have an Elves receiver, but remember, they can't throw. She's already moved and been activated, so she's not throwing this turn. Another solid kick right there. Dark Elves concentrating the fire. Yeah, here we go. They're going to go pick up a Black Orc again. Well, like I said, they've had pretty good success against the Black Orcs of all things. They've been cracking them all day. No, I'm serious. Everything will crack with the exception of the Lyman. And there was only one exception. It's all been Black Orcs. They keep cracking the Black Orcs. I swear. It's just been one of those days. All right, Unigord's. Well, they're going to have to contain this somehow here. Somehow. Didn't say how, but they're going to have to do it. Meanwhile, here comes Big Loppy Troll. Yeah, he's getting involved in the game there. Now, as you can see, Unicorns now. They're starting to get creative with a bit of containment here. Yeah, it's like he's almost tempting them to give it a try here. Charges in. Comes in with the guard here. Yeah, now you see what he's going to do here. He's going to try and stack the Blackhawks. Meanwhile, over here. Hey, look, there's a new volunteer. He's come to play. I just like to meet me fist. It's an old friend of mine. There we go. Big solid hit. Still has it. Man, all the Black Orc tucks himself in there. Yeah, now he's got choked up. And there goes Spike one more time. I love something. Something is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just? And Spike's done it again. Another stun. This again slows the Dark Elves another turn. Look at this. Charges in. Only gets the one die. Miscounts it. Re doesn't realize the guard's there. Skulls it. Has to precious reroll it there. So there goes the reroll for this turn. Dark Elves on the move. Now because they've got the reroll this turn here, they're less likely to want to throw the ball. One in nine. Gets the block. Nothing going on there. Makes the dodge away though, moves his player into a better position here. And here she comes. That's what he said. And doesn't throw the ball. This would have been where you would have gone up here, handed it off. No, I'm serious. Run up here, hand the ball off. He then goes over here, throws the ball to one of them. Easy peasy, Avling Squeezy. However, him losing the reroll here has meant he doesn't do that. He doesn't feel as confident. And look who's completely vulnerable here. All alone. Now he gets the knockdown here. See, he's done everything else, but he's he's kind of made a bit of a mistake there. And he fails that one. Surprise, motherfucker. Well, let's see how this one actually transpires at this point here. Will they go after her? We will find out here. Here come the Unigorns moving up on in. Good lord, here comes the troll. Nope, he's not blitzing. He's just marking her. Ew. <laughs> Moves on over here. Oh, yeah, now the unicorns. They're going to make this difficult there. Very difficult. All right, here he comes. Cheeky low. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, indeed, down he goes. But he makes the first GFI. Makes the second one there. Did he get him? What? <laughs> Apparently the football, unfortunately, is out of movement. He can't go any further. And it's a horrible bounce. It's actually a lucky bounce for the Dark Elves. Oh, well, the Unicorns are going to keep the scrum going. Big solid punch, making the situation even trickier. Oh, dear, he got that one. Oh, quit being so... Oh, God, Spike's doing it again. And Spike again still is being ignored by Ed. Must be a personal friend of his. And he fails to pick up the ball. Oh dear, oh dear. Again, there goes the precious reroll. And because he used the reroll, he doesn't risk throwing the ball. Because he used the reroll. Dark Elves come running back. Now remember, it's turn 13. Yeah, it must be related. Oh, there's the gerbil. This is looking horrible. You wanted a party? Now let's party! 
Okay, as he said, block on block. Oh, God, look at this. The play is all over the stadium there. Here comes the Brony. He comes running back in here. Yeah, Orcs see a golden opportunity. Move in with the guard. Now the Orcs are moving in. Two dice. Big hit over there. Does he get him? Nope, nothing there. Two more dice there. Does get a pow. Takes the player flying. Uh, Orcs are definitely swarming this one in here. And meanwhile, they continue to stack the line up there. And here it is. Over the top with the tackle. Goes to the attack. Gets the tackle. She does indeed do a backflip. Down she goes. It's a massive KO right there. Celebration in the wings. The boom is real. But it's not a bad bounce for the Dark Elves. They can recover this one pretty easily. If they're willing to risk. However, they're running out of options here. Village receivers. And Spike does it again. Cross my heart and hope to fly. Stick the cupcake in my eye. You're insane, <laughs> boy, apparently. He hasn't been called yet. There we go. He's gotten so frustrated by all the fouling. His blitz he uses on the goblin. He's getting sick and tired of it there. <laughs> and the tackle comes through. Down near the ball retrieval. He has to use it. Gets the ball. Gets the reception. But now it's a long, long... Long. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Maybe you should have used your blitz elsewhere. I hate to say it. If it worked well, it had a fighting chance. But he was out of rerolls. Absolutely. Orcs fighting to protect their balls. Well, they do that all bloody day, don't they? Push me, push you here. And now he moves over here to go help the bro old repentant little brony here. Big punch. No, it's only a push. Well, that's fine. Now look what he does here. Shoves him into the ball here because he wants a better bounce. He'll work with that one. Next punch. Three dice gets there on the line. But how are you feeling, Sunshine? Ooh, this is my jam. It is indeed. And he's got the ball. Secrets and lies. There he is! There he is! He's going! He's going! He's going! Apparently pain. Lots and lots of pain. Down the field, the glass scrum is over here. They're fighting it out. Big hit block or block, but that is the old receivers completely contained here. Over here, he's a little old receivers. There's another double skull. See, it hasn't gone all the way there. Makes the dodge. Push me, push you. And what's this? Oh, God, really? He's going to go and foul another one. God, he's been here all week. It's a work in progress. It is indeed. Fails, but again, Constable Ed doesn't call a thing on him. Let's hear it for Sneaky Git. Sneaky Git has done a diamond on this lad. Yeah, as you can see here, Desperation is showing. Uses the Blitz over here because he can't reach. Oh, dear. Oh. And he was all out of rerolls, and he ran the tackle. There's the one. Yeah, he might suck at fouling, but he has drawn two blitzes out of the Dark Elves out of complete and utter frustration. And that was his only job he needed to do there. Oh no, my friends don't like my parties, and they don't want to be my friends anymore. Well, stop fouling them, Spike. Stop fouling them. How about punching them? That seems to work. Hmm, juicy. Yeah, maybe it is. Well, looks like the Unicorns are just trying to clear the road at this point here. Another push mate, push you. The rest of the lads moving along here. Another big hit. Does get a pow. Knocks him flying there. Well, he's down there. The rest of the Orcs moving along here. Oh, God, Spike. He's at it again. Runs over. He's going to do another one. Yep, what? see it again. Sneaky Git again kicks in for him, even though he fails. He's not ejected. Go figure. The power is that you get. Look at the frustration level here. Again, try to kill him there. Ah! 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 Yeah, the frustration is very real there. 
Yes, you might not know anything about Dark Elf and Enemy, but he does know how to piss them off. And he's done a great job of that all game. He has drawn four of the Blitzes out of the Dark Elves in eight thirds. Four of the Dark Elf Blitzes will be against the Goblin and not who they really should be going after, which is the ball carriers. He has done his job. Scary, isn't it? There goes the Brownie. Yeah. Is he going to get one last big hit? Well, he gets the hit. Oh, we're going to see one last foul. No, nope, I think they're done. It's all done. Final score. 2 to nil. And there it is, your final result there. Yes, the big fluffy unicorns, the orcs. Don't call them that in their face there. Advance on to the final eight, two to nil over the Dark Elves. And I totally agree with you, Steiner. It did come to autumn when he realized what he'd done. He had benched his star player and left him out of that drive. What a difference that player might have made on that drive. Cool, that is always the problem there. It's the playoffs. You can make just one mistake. Just one. And uh, that's the season for you. Brutal, isn't it, lads? Well, thank you all for watching tonight. i got to sign off. Um, we'll see if we can maybe catch you all tomorrow then. No guarantees. I've got a crazy schedule, but we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you all once again for watching. Thank you, Lord Panda, for subscribing. And Nuffle, bless your dice.